after we midweek detour and forth for here we are at the Europa League vlog uh, after going round about the houses saying oh yeah after the league game at the weekend yeah see you then I'd just randomly go to the SPL Trust Trophy game with Ali on uh, Tuesday because it was a tenner but hey Football's back, so I'm going to go as many games as I possibly can. I might not vlog all of them, just because it's probably going to get a rep bit repetitive going, going to Parkhead today, going to Parkhead today, going to another Celtic game today. Um, but Mark can do some Dundee games, so we might even get some new guest, uh, guest presenters to go to their games. Who knows? We'll see what happens in the future. But it's Europe tonight, so that is a very good excuse to get the camera out and go to Parkhead and... Uh, vlog some of that action, especially because it's of course the first game where 60,000 fans are going to be back in the ground, and it should be an amazing atmosphere. So, 4-2 up from the first leg against Jablonek, um, as well as the uh, Celtic game of course, I might be keeping a wee sneaky eye on what's going on at McDermott Park, because if St Johnson can somehow pull off beating Galatasaray over two legs, that'll be amazing for Scottish football, and good luck to them. So I'm driving the night, um, well I'm driving me and my dad to the game bus, sorry, the bus in his car, and then get the bus for you to Glasgow. So I'm waiting going to Lidl and get some lovely soft drinks, so see you later. Finally in Glasgow, the traffic was horrible, absolutely stinking on the way through, and I think I've just missed, I'm guessing the Green Brigade's march to the ground, but uh, I've got my chips, so I'm a happy boy. Standing session. Smash. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
that was wasn't it I did not see this coming a week ago uh, we were very down in the dumps with the way Celtic had been playing as fans and I say it a lot actually a week's such a long time in football all of a sudden we're looking like this amazing team who have now scored what I think that's now 13 goals in the last three games I don't know 3-0 win tonight a clean sheet Joe Hart making some great saves but also nearly chucking one in his own net by giving the ball away outside the box but we'll forgive him for that um, just such an improvement over what was looking like was going to be a very tough season. Obviously, it's still really early. Noel, you come in and say hi. It's just my cat there. Um, yeah, things are looking positive. We've got a tough game in the next round with Altmar, but the good thing is that even if we like lose against them, we're guaranteed European football until Christmas now because we're dropping to the Conference League. But let's hope we get in the Europa. Um Really impressed with Kyogo again. He didn't get a goal, but his work rate was unbelievable. Christie's like a new signing. He's been rejuvenated under um, Ange already, so hopefully these contract talks get sorted out soon. Um, you saying hi? There's Noel the cat. He's missed me today, obviously. Um, yeah, just fan David Tumble. What a second goal, by the way. Right, I was right behind it. As soon as he hit it, I just said goal. Went in the corner. I couldn't be happier today. It, it was such a good, uh, such a good night. So good to be back in Parkhead with nearly a full crowd. The main stand was empty, but you know, take what you can get right now, can't you? Um, great time with my dad, seeing all the boys on the bus again. It's brilliant. Football's back for now, hopefully. Aye, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm just so happy to be back. Hopefully. Uh, and we're going to have a podcast out soon that alley one, fingers crossed but stay tuned to the channel and uh, we'll keep the stuff coming for you good night <laughs>